Eric DIY here with another great review for you. Today we're reviewing the FCAT Solar Power Bank. 26,800 milliamp hours, has a solar charger. It also supports wireless charging and it has a lot of features. I gotta tell you, this one is chock full of everything that you could possibly need. I've been using this for months now. First off, it has a solar panel, which isn't gonna charge very fast. It's actually just to like kind of maintain the battery in between. Uh, there's no way that you're gonna be able to fully power this thing just with the solar panel. I mean, you could leave it out there for like weeks and maybe it'll charge fully, but this is one huge battery. Again, it's 26,800 milliamp hours in the battery. Huge, and I have to tell you, I really believe that claim because I know a lot of companies put a number on there, but it's not real. But this thing is built to hold a lot of power. I've never ever gone even below three lights on this, so it's been excellent. Other features if you go on the back here, it actually wirelessly charges. This right here is a wireless key charger, even through an honor box case, it will wirelessly charge. Just put it on the back there. You just have to line up the phone in the right place and you can see that it's clearly charging right here. It also has a red light in there. If you could see that, that means that it's wirelessly charging. Again, the wireless charging is not gonna be as fast as just plugging in directly, but this thing has it all. And I'm very excited about this power bank. It's been one of my best power bank purchases of all time. This comes right up and it's a nice waterproofing material. And on the inside you have two regular USB charging ports. You have a USB-C charging port, which is exactly why I have my Pixel 4 out right now. And you can also charge through a micro USB as well. But that right there sells this power bank for me because this, if you hook it up USB-C to USB-C to here, it's going to give you faster charging than just regular USB ports right here. Like it has so many flexible options, solar panel, wireless charging on the back, two USB regular ports there, a USB-C and a micro USB. You can charge up the solar panel, but I prefer charging through micro USB or even USB-C just to get it charged. And last but not least, the other thing is that it actually has an LED light here. If we hold down the power button, it actually has an LED emergency light right there with different settings. That's on fully, that's a slightly dimmer, and then it has an SOS flashing light, and then a strobe light, and then finally off. And again, that's all activated by this power on button right here. This is the first power bank I found with all these features all built in one. It's, it's just, it's fantastic. It does have some weight to it because it is a big battery in there, but it has been fantastic and I love using this. And this is after months of using it. I didn't wanna just rush and give a review on this one. If you're solo charging, I'll show you two things too. I'll have a green sun icon right here. And I'll have flashing blue lights right here. As you can see, this is almost full because it's huge. I never ever ran out of power even once on this. So just a fantastic power bank. Once again, the features are, it can charge four things simultaneously. It's a big enough battery will do that. It is water resistant. Again, showing you that it has this over all the connections. Nice big rubber gasket. It's not cheap, it's not flimsy. It does cover everything. Built-in flashlight with SOS mode. You can recharge via micro or type C or solar. Many different uh, charging options. It's universal charging power. It goes up to 3.1 amps again with USB-C. And it says easy to carry with hanging rope. I don't have the rope attached, but it does come with a lanyard which would attach itself right there. Pros, tons of pros here. And this, this I'm not one that just gives tons of pros unless the product really deserves it. The many charging options you have on this, solar, USB-C, micro USB, Everything that you could possibly do for just charging, excellent. It, it, it covers every single thing you could possibly do. Uh, the features, the features are the strong point of this. Five watt wireless charging if you need it for key devices. You could just charge with it with normal USB outputs underneath this thing right here. The gasket's not cheap or flimsy. It's very, very thick and solid. So no water is getting in there. You could charge with USB-C cable. So that way if you have a device like mine, a Google Pixel 4 XL, it will charge faster. And it also has micro USB for those older devices that still use that standard. Just chock full of features for a power bank. Probably the most I've ever seen on a power bank. Cons about the FCANT 26,800 milliamp hour solar power bank. I would just say it is a little heavy, but it's heavy because it's huge. That is a huge battery in there, lithium ion, whole way. And it's going to be that big and heavy 
because it stores that much power. So overall, I, I have to recommend the FCAN 26,800 milliamp hour solar power bank. It's been nothing but great. It's held its power. I've never gone below two blue dots at all, and that was really pushing it. it. Ports a wide range of devices, especially with all the inputs that it has and outputs that it has. It has the flashlight on it. I mean, it has everything you could possibly want in a power bank, and it's weatherproof, IP66 weatherproof. So it's, it's an excellent buy. It's definitely one of the bigger power banks out there, but it can do a little of everything. And if you're looking for just a universal power bank to end it all, this is probably the one that you want. If you'd like to purchase the FCAT 26,800 milliamp hour solar power bank, please look for a link in the description below. We'll send you to Amazon. We can purchase your very own. Every purchase will help support the Eric DIY channel. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you and have a great day. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150 diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.